colours, I would say. Absolutely stunning. Thank you, Mrs. H. A very good morning to you. Welcome to the shave den. To the shaving world. <laughs> to our 20 to 30 minutes now. I've got to be... Got to be... Um, watching the time. I know they go on sometimes. So apologies for that. Okay. Something arrived in the post this week unexpectedly from Global Shave Club. Thank you, Sheldon. And it's this. This is the Excalibur. Um, there's no notes or nothing with it. It just came as it is, nothing on the box. So I checked the website. And um, this is the razor. It's a twist to open adjustable. Feels very nice. Nice weight. There's some square knurling and lined at the end there. Twist to open. There you go. That's inside. Um, it goes from. Where are we? Let's put it. It's, it's a non clicking uh, adjuster. So it goes from one all the way to seven. It says max seven. So we'll leave it on that. We're going to try it on that. When I looked at this, now if you're like me, I went to their website uh, to find out it's called the Excal Excalibur. And on the website, this has changed. So, um, this must be an updated model of that raise, I think, because this dial had the information on the head instead of the numbers here. It was on here. The opposite way around, if you like, to this. So, whether this is the version 2 or something, I have no idea. But it feels nice in the hand. It's a long handle. I'm going to give that a go as an adjustable today. So, um, someone asked in the comments, could you use pears hand soap as a pre-shave? I said, yeah, I'll use it in the Sunday shave. Can I find it? I've got a brand new one somewhere. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this stuff. Palm Olive Moisture Care um, Naturals. Uh, it's not like the Palm Olive Shave Stick scent. But it's a nice scent. It's a sort of a, takes me back really to the old, we used to have this as well, soap. Palm Olive, you can see there. So I'll use that as a pre-shave. So like a bit of a wash and then. But I will get the pear soap and I'll use that. Hopefully, if I can get one before Wednesday, we'll use it in a shave there. So we will use one, I haven't forgot. Then, I've seen this box, I thought, oh, I'll use you for a while. Parasso, uh, Wooden Spice Shaving Cream. This is the, I think this is the professional um, version because it comes in this sort of bag. Um, I think it goes in some gadget or something in a barber's and they dispense the cream like that or something but anyway I've just squeezed a bit out it's a lovely scent that it is has a yellowy tinge to it if it looks yellow to you it does to me in the uh, fine porcelain bowl um oh yeah talking about this razor god I get on with it in a minute I thought you remind me of something and that's what it reminded me of the wishy kind of similar except for the heads um Ooh, this might be slightly heavier, but as you can see, they're quite similar. But, um, obviously, we're using the Global Shave Club one today. That's that one. Oh, brand new blade. I'm going to use, I found a lot of these, so I'm going to start using them up. Gillette Nasset um, Stainless Blade, brand new. So we'll open that up. So, how are you doing in yourself? I hope you're in good health and happy in any way possible and of course the shaves so they're going well there you go so everything works nicely locks yeah so it's not like a gillette where you shut and then there's a bit of a quarter turn to lock it just stops so it's best not to over tighten it and there is i'll just level that out there is overhang to be aware of. Nice colour black. Using a lot of black products lately. Right, so we'll uh, use the palm olive. That's a bit of a pre shave. Don't need a lot. God, 
reminds me of my younger days, that soap. This isn't a pre-shaved soap, it is a hand face soap. But they seem to work just as well if you don't have sort of um, proper pre-shave. Obviously pre-shaves are made for that purpose. And these are made for cleaning and so that'll do. We'll, uh, we'll rinse that off now. So that's it, nice and clean now, and uh, softened the beard. So we'll, uh... Yeah, I hope you're having a good weekend, had a good week since I've seen you last. Uh, turned a bit cooler here, a um, few sort of on higher ground when I've been out in the countryside. Um, it's been sort of raining, but then as the higher I've got has turned to um, hailstone and slight snow but it hasn't it didn't stick because the it went the, 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 the sort of snow on the higher ground there was a thin layer of it but uh, god this is a lovely scent have we got wood spice parasso I did on Amazon I think if I can find a link I'll put it and uh, always look below in the video description. There's always links if I can leave them from products I've bought, been gifted, or I've been sent like this razor. And then uh, it's up to you. Then if you want to have a, just go and have a look, nose, or if you fancy buying something, hopefully it helps. So then a bit more. You can have good water to press on. And um, what was I saying? Got my head. Oh yeah, the snow. Uh, the sun came out in the afternoon. It was still cold, but uh, of course it got rid of the snow, the very, very thin layer of snow. But it was nice to see it. There we go, that'll do. That'll do it. Beautiful. That will do. All right. Mm. And the name is correct. That's exactly what it is. Wood, woody scent, and spice. Now, knowing I haven't heard of Global Shave Club for a while, so I hope you're in good health. You're watching, Sheldon. Hope you're doing okay. Getting through this uh, mad times you've been through. And um, yeah, Global Shave Club razors are always been, in my opinion and use, always been slightly more aggressive than what standard things are. So um, we'll see what this is. Gillette Nasset, brand new. We'll heat it up. And here we go, first pass. Mm. So I'd say, you see straight away, that aggression, you can feel the blade, it's a nice blade and that's it, there was a very smooth blade again. Um, as you can see, it glides through that whisk, is no problem. Wow, lots of whiskey. Uh, so it's far more aggressive than any of the standard adjustable Gillettes vintage.
seems to have been lucky with blades of, of late. Sometimes you can pick a blade and it's just not up to par, but that could be sometimes, believe it or not, the way you feel. Um, and you might have a dud pack. That's nice, lovely slickness. Not an overly powerful scent, um, but it's more present on the face. It's not leaving any scents in the bathroom, something. So it's sort of a mild to medium strength scent, but a beautiful shaving cream. Easy to look at it, easy to lather, works well. But if you use Prorasso, you know, it's good stuff. Thank you, Italy. Right. What's the shave of the day, please? And the meal of the day? Uh, talking of which... Well, hang on, before we start talking about that, we'll uh, use it as an adjustable. I'm going to take it down. I'm going to open it up from seven, so it is an aggressive seven. And we'll take it down to five. Let's see how we get on with that. There you go. I've, uh, I'm having, um, well, it's not for everybody, not for everybody, uh, liver and onions. I was brought up on it and uh, I enjoy it. Not often, don't have it often, but uh, when I do it, I enjoy it and I make a big pan of it because I'm the only one that eats it. Um, and I put some in the freezer, about two or three meals sometimes in the freezer. So it's nice in a few, two months. Just being careful of this overhang. So you are able to get right under the nose, that's good. And uh, when you fancy liver and onions, it's uh, it's ready to defrost out the freezer. And I'll do some buttery mash with salt and pepper and thing. Um, so it'll obviously liver and onion. So I make an onion gravy in it, uh, buttery mash, and I add some uh, peas, garden peas, to that. And that'll be a nice meal. There is also some, um, I don't usually add this, but I'm gonna add it today. And that's some um, bacon. They call them lardons, like square pieces of bacon. And just add that in as it's cooking. That gives a nice texture, nice flavor. Bacon, liver, onions, gravy, beautiful. You can still feel this blade on five. So as I say, I I find that Global Shave Club always has that edge on aggression than other razors, and this is no exception. It's uh, it's nice. It's not a horrid, jumpy or jagged. Mind you, that could be the blade, but. Uh, it feels nice. Even on five, it would I would say it's still entering its high end medium, heading into aggressive. But it feels oh that's a lovely slickness. It feels um feels nice. There we go. Should we chance another flick of water? Oh, I thought I'd cut myself. And uh, bought another chest of drawers. We've got a matching set of three and four, I think, in my room. And then another one to go in the main bedroom. And uh, I've been granted permission to put shaving products in it. 
so we'll see what we can do with that. I don't think I'll fill it, just, um, yeah, we'll use it again as an adjustable, adjustable, oh, sorry. There we go, so we'll take it down to three now. So, nice using them as an adjustable, isn't it? There we go. Against the growth. Global Shave Club, in case you... Um, didn't hear, um, this is a Global Shave Club razor. The Excalibur. With a Gillette Nassif brand new blade. And we've used it on all its, well not every setting, but a good majority. Three anyway. So it feels milder now, uh, but still has an edge on it. Nicely balanced, and uh, it feels nice, fair play. No issues with this rattling when it comes loose, because something I do, you don't see on camera, with a twist to open, butterfly I always constantly test this is you know not too tight don't overdo it just keep it taut she was a tight closed nice blade Gillette Nassi You have to match this weekend. Did you go out for a meal last night? Did you cook a meal? Takeaway? Barbie? That feels nice there. That's one of my sort of tender areas. Very nice. The slickness is amazing. Right. You know what time it is now? Three, two, one. Pick up time, baby. Yeah. Slight hint of menthol in that thing. I'm not sure. Maybe not. Could be. Maybe there's a small amount in it. Um, we'll try it. I don't usually do this. We'll go to one to its mildest setting. I hope that's number one because it's a bit blurry. Here we go. Pick up time. Let's see. Oh, yeah, it's nice and mild now. That is nice and mild. As you can hear, though, it's still not too mild. Because sometimes the setting, as you know yourself, probably the setting can be so mild. And if you've got a very slick soap, things just start gliding over. Do the... Um Slickness of the uh, forced soap. I think I did catch there, you know. Listen to this, listen to this. Nice 
nice and gentle. That's lovely. Right, cold water rinse and we'll keep wet a long time, baby. That's cold too. I'll wake you up. Here we go. No feedback. Oh, just a t I must have caught there because it's just a bit of feedback there. Yeah. I feel very smooth. Very slight tingle. Wow, that is nice. Okay. So while that does its job, we'll uh, have a quick run through. So we're using the Global Shave Club, GSC, Excalibur, um, twist to open and uh, adjustable DE razor. Feels nice, good weight, well balanced. It is aggressive on seven. Remains aggressive to me, medium aggressive on in the middle on five. Well, just under, not, not halfway is it? Um, just over halfway. On five and then down we went to three do we and then to one one is mild uh, three is standard so it's a good razor it does work as aggressive to mild um, but as I say for me these global shape club razors are slightly more aggressive than normal stuff um, Gillette Nasset brand new perfect lovely smooth we used palm olive hand soap face soap wash um, as a pre-shave lovely and then we've used the Parasso, this is the Wood Spice Shaving Cream. Uh, as I say, it's a professional uh, bag, I think they, they um, put in a, whatever it is, some contraption. And uh, my own brush, DS Cosmetic Polish Films, Synthetic Knot. Welsh Water, Fine Shave Bowl to rinse. So we've used alum, and now we're about to wash alum off. And that makes the skin zero slick. Look at that, beautiful colours then. Array of colours. Oh. Oh, that's lovely. Alright. And then, I thought, good. Well, the name matches anyway. Uh, not used this not, not, not so long back. It's. Um, uh, Marks and Spencer's Burgundy Wood Spice Aftershave. I still haven't got the green bottle. Don't pass the Marks and Spencer's that often. This is a lovely scent. Oh, yes, yeah, a lovely match. It is a lovely match. Wow. So the names work well. A bit more. The names work well. Are we on there? I haven't kept you too long, hopefully. Um, and then I'm going to use the Prorasso Sandalwood uh, pre shave as a post shave because it is good. Thank you. It is good enough. Good stuff. Very nice. Plenty in the neck. Touch on the forehead. Don't rub it in, just go out like this. <laughs> just forgot to do, it, didn't you? I'm being well today. Why not? I've done my neck. <laughs> yeah. 
too excited. That's lovely. Wow. And that was it. I'll leave you in peace. <laughs> Thank God, they say. Um, so if you're having a shave today, enjoy it. Have a good one. Have a safe weekend. Um, and I'll start to next week, of course. And uh, I shall see you on Wednesday. So I'll try and get this pears soap and we'll use that as a pre-shave. Um, and then that's it. Yeah, see you then. I'm not sure what I'm using yet. But um, hopefully something well, will be something nice, won't it? Let's face it, any shave is nice. Usually. Yeah, you know, have a great week, weekend, all the best, stay safe and happy and bye-bye. Thank you.